to use GetText from PHP, the GetText extension has to be installed and enabled. It's likely that it already is, so I suggest trying to run the code we're going to write in this video first. Then, if you get some errors, you can install and or enable the extension. The GetText function is used to translate some text. You pass the string you want to translate to this function, and it looks up the string in the translation file and returns it. If no translation was found, it just returns the text you pass to it. Before we start to use the getText function, note that I haven't included the geolocation IP address lookup code we developed in the previous section, in order to keep it simple. The strings we want to translate are in the HTML. Instead of using an array key like this, we'll use the original text. So let's replace this array element with the original string. Then, to translate it using getText, we simply pass this string to the getText function. Let's do the same with the other two strings in this code. First the title, and then the welcome message. And now that we're no longer using these arrays to hold the translations, we can delete them. In the browser, we see the original strings. We haven't configured getText yet with the translation file, so it just returns the untranslated original text. If you do get an undefined function error at this point, then the getText extension isn't installed or enabled. Installing it depends on your operating system and web server software. On Windows, for example, it could be as simple as finding the getText extension in the php.ini file and removing the comment to enable it. On Mac and Linux, you'll probably have to install the relevant package. Please ask for help if you need it. The getText function also has an alias, which is a single underscore. So instead of the getText function, you can use an underscore. The idea behind this is that the code required to translate a string is as unobtrusive as possible. As we're using the original strings, the HTML is much clearer when using the underscore. 